here we are at the start of our European bike adventure. We, we just cro crossed over from Asia into Europe on the ferry. Which is pretty cool. And we're standing in front of the Blue Mosque in Istanbul. Good place to start. We're going to try and ride from here roughly 7,000 clicks to London in four and a half months. That's the point. Um, <laughs> so now we just have to get out of this crazy city, which is going to be fun. We should start. And that might be a very quick adventure. <laughs> we're pretty excited. This is, this is cool. These are our bikes. This is Thomas and this is Stevie. Named after... The wonderful Thomas Stevens. Thomas Stevens, who... Penny farthing tour around the world. Rode a penny farthing around the world back in like... 18 18 something. something. <laughs> um, with like no gear. And a really good with moustache. With a, a tinder box of gear. <laughs> um, yeah, we're off. Here we go. Game on. So it's the second day of our bike adventure. Where... Somewhere. Somewhere west of Istanbul. We had a fucking heinous day yesterday. It was... It was a long day. Done some shit stuff in my time, but it was bad. We had six lane freeways combined with really, really shitty wind. Just combined horrendous with side winds on like 30 centimetre shoulder of freeway. Covered in glass. On the middle lane of the freeway, having to switch and cross things. And it wasn't fun. Just 70 k's of sprawled Istanbul it doesn't suburbia. Stop. It was, it was hell. We ended up riding a hundred clicks Over. in our first day just to get out of get out of town and then find somewhere to stay. We tried to find a hotel. A hotel, that didn't work. We tried to find a place to free camp. We found two crack dens. And I got a puncture and from got the a crack puncture. den. She had a fucking syringe in her wheel. <laughs> we ended up finding a place to free camp just off the freeway, which was kind of nice. It was all protected from the wind, so we didn't have to worry about it. It was a bit warmer. And there was a bum down the hill. Like but he was minutes. a nice one, no crack. No crack. Just so. music. Just playing tunes in his yeah. little house. Yeah. Made out of plastic. So we set up the tent, had a mech, and then cooked some bulgur. And slept for like 12 hours. <laughs> really long time. Today is much less windy. Thank God. It's rained a bit this morning, so we had all the rain gear out. But not but enough, just a bit of a shower. Yeah. It's looking up. Yeah. <laughs> and the road is now a comfortable two lane freeway with it's, a lovely shoulder. It's looking like we have to ride the freeway the whole way out of Turkey. But it's quieter so now. We've got one more big town to pass and then hopefully it'll be more like a country road. Try and do a lot of K's. A lot of K's in the first few days. Yeah. But it's not too sore. Legs are a bit sore. Stomachs are letting us know their presence like every half hour. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's alright. It was a good challenge. Great in hindsight. Now we just swap, we just stop the chai at a service station and they're playing Avicii. <laughs> so this is our kit, um, complete with deployed rain protection. Um, and as you can see, both a lot of dollars and time and research has been spent into working out how to get it all to fit together perfectly. So garbage bags in the shop, bungee cords, all garbage bags covering a really, really sexy uh, fruit crate which is already starting to break after two days. Um, our bag, it's just a backpacking backpack covered with yet again another one. Some basic string. We forgot um, our riding gloves. Sexy riding gloves, which we, which I'm pretty sure are for painting. We bought for like 50 cents from the hardware store. Um, garbage bags on cheap roller mats we got for $10 from a sports store. They're for yoga and they're way, way too big. Wet weather protection for our personal bodies. Um, as you can see, it's <laughs> that's where it's at. Uh, and then pretty much the same again. Sleeping bags covered with plastic shopping bags um, and another, yeah, another dry one. And these are our little front packs, semi-waterproof. They are obviously, um, yeah, toiletries bags with some zip ties stuck to the top so that's our kit when it's all packed up good night then well good morning in turkish even though we're not in turkey anymore. uh yesterday we crossed the border from turkey to greece 
I have no footage because they wouldn't let us film. You get the feeling it's a little bit tense. There's a bridge on the land crossing we took, um, and there's like armed guards on both sides. Although the Greek guys are just sitting there smoking. We're in a hotel a, room. A hotel room for what did you say? The first time in first time since we got to Turkey, which I don't even know when that was. It's well been. over a month. The first of March we got to Turkey. Um, so it feels like utter luxury. Yeah, even though it's. <laughs> It's really It's not. a 25 euro hotel room. I'll just do a quick spin. Note the colour combinations. Pink and green. Yeah, so you can you can see that. It's, and rest um, assured the bathroom does match. Yeah, it's a nice place. It's actually, it's fine. Yeah, it's but um, the guy downstairs is lovely. The mm. owner's a bitch. Anyway, <laughs> point is we... It pissed down all day all today. Day. We got caught in a thunderstorm. Twice. Um, but we still managed to ride 80 k's. We got here; it was dark, and and we got to have some quality Greek nana time. It looked like there was going to be another thunderstorm overnight, <laughs> so we checked into a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> ah, anyway, but it doesn't stop us cooking up a feast. So we're, we're eating in the hotel, and we've just cooked on our beer cans, though, which I should show you, which is pretty cool. Um, so this is the beer can stove. It's actually a Coke can because it's the first one we found. And it's just made from chopping up a, a can into bits and then adding little flumes. Uh, so the metho can vaporize and anyway, gets a bit technical, but it's bloody well, cool. It's, it's free um, and we lost one already. So it's probably good we didn't have something expensive. Yeah. Um, and also metho, you can, I'm pretty sure you can make. Um, you can get it anywhere. You can get it anywhere and you can, if you wanted to, you can make it your own. And it's, just alcohol, so you can you can brew it from anything. So it's a environmentally sustainable fuel. I don't want to say that. Yeah. <laughs> um, spent today with spent a good five hours today hiding from the storm. Mm -hmm. In a I don't even know what to call it. Yeah. It's like a place where the old people hang out. It's not a nursing home, but there's it's just like a, a bunch of tables in a room attached to a market mm -hmm. where old people come and go and just hang out and have a smoke, have a drink coffee, drink coffee, or or just, uzo, or I, I just sometimes know. just hang, hang out and out. smoke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got first Greek coffee, which was delicious. Right. I will yeah, definitely right. be getting so that. Good. And then the wonderful Greek nana who had yelled at us previously for being cold and then brought out a million clothes and then yelled us at, at us again for we're not still putting wearing, them on. We're still wearing her clothes, which she made us <laughs> take with Yeah, today. she wouldn't let us leave without putting them all on. Um, so we're wearing these like dodgy coloured sort of half... Nana cardigans. Half wool and nana cardigans. I've yeah. got trackies on, Han's got some mm. dodgy tights. Um, and then she made us lunch, which unfortunately for Jack was a big part of scrambled eggs. <laughs> Can't eat. So they that were was delicious, good. except they were so buttery. And to make Nana feel good, I tried to eat most of them and spent the next few hours with a bit of a stomach ache. Mm. So she was <laughs> lovely, despite us having learnt no Greek to that yeah. point. Um, we did go ahead and learn a few, few phrases today while we were waiting because we, we felt guilty. Um, so we got to say thank you and stuff mm -hmm. at least. Um, she was a lovely Greek Nana. They were lovely. She gave us a fire to dry all our shit by because we were soaked. Mm -hmm. All our stuff was soaked. Um, so all in all, a, a great day. Wonderful day. A wonderful day. But then we day. we then had to we then tried to make up some K's and got rained on again. First we had to cross a river, oh, that was fun. which is normally just yeah. a little pissy stream, and they all said you can't do it, but we tried to do it anyway, yeah. and we managed to do it just. If it had been any higher, I don't think we could have. We had to walk the bikes across. It was pretty fast moving, but um, it was fun. But it was a lot of fun. And then we tried to, we rode another 60 k's after that. Mm. We got rained on again. We tried to stay in the village. But they were very mean in that village. It's the first time we've ever not mm. 
being able to find someone at least helps out and point us in the right direction mm. ever. Um, but luckily the rain stopped and we came back. So that was a bit weird. We made it to the city. Anyway, we made it here. And big smoke. Big smoke. And yeah, day, I don't know what to do, four, five? Or, four five. or five. Day five. We've ridden just under 500 clicks. Uh, so we're going okay. We're, right now we're staying in Xanti. 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 Mm. In uh, northern Greece. Jamaline, just some fact that's in my love, my love, 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 please. My love, the most beautiful sort of thing. Scenic, scenic snow-capped mountain, beautiful yellow fields at the border crossing. And over here there's a big pile of goats. And there was... A border peacock! There was a peacock literally in border control. Just hanging about. Just, just kicking it. I let you roll, I let you roll, I let you roll. 